There are certain habits that, when adopted, create a chain reaction of positive changes. When you are working to improve your diet, these keystone habits give you a big advantage because you only need to focus on a single new behavior to reap a wide range of benefits. In this video, you will learn three keystone habits that transform your diet. Choose one, focus on it, and experience the ripple effect it has on your health and weight. Charles Duhigg coined the term keystone habit in his book, The Power of Habit, where he referred to them as relatively small changes that, when followed, trigger a domino effect of positive changes throughout your life. Here are three keystone habits that can transform your diet. The first keystone habit that you can adopt is avoiding added sugar. This is one of the most powerful keystone habits because it creates noticeable changes in many areas of your life, from physical to emotional well-being. In my book, Zero Sugar One Month, I refer to sugar as the great deceiver. It gives you a quick energy burst and takes off the edge of everyday stressors, but you cannot outrun the consequences of a high sugar diet. Its addictive draw and inflammatory impact will lead to weight gain and contribute to heart disease, memory decline, bowel disorders, and other chronic conditions, not to mention the fact that it puts your brain chemistry and blood sugar on a roller coaster ride that makes you obsessed with eating more sugar. To avoid sugar, you want to read labels. If a packaged food or drink has sugar listed as one of the top three ingredients, don't eat it. And remember that sugar goes by different names. So don't just look for sugar, also look for alternate names like corn syrup, dextrose, maltodextrin, fruit juice concentrate, and sucrose. When it comes to foods with natural sugar like fruit and non-caloric sweeteners, I recommend allowing them in your diet initially to make the transition to a sugar-free diet easier, but then lessen your dependence on them as you progress. This transition period is a real thing. When you cut sugary foods and drinks out of your diet, there is a withdrawal period. And just like withdrawing from any addictive substance, you can feel worse before you feel better. However, stick with it and the magic will happen. Once you've gotten sugar out of your diet, it will lead to a cascade of benefits that raise your baseline of health without force or the need for willpower. For instance, you can expect fewer cravings, more energy, stable moods, weight loss, less stomach discomfort, more joint flexibility, clearer skin, and more enjoyment from whole foods now that the intense sweetness of processed snacks is no longer hijacking your taste buds. Of the three keystone habits that I am presenting in this video, avoiding added sugar yields the most rewards, but it is the most intimidating because of its addictive nature. Having something that disrupts your desire to eat sugar that you can grab very quickly is a big advantage as you move away from sugar. If you follow my channel, you know that I refer to these items as stoppers. There are many options. Here is a list. Stoppers work because they either change the taste in your mouth or they take time to consume or do, allowing you to separate from eating before it turns into a dessert or a snack. If you want a convenient stopper without calories, you can try peak tea. Tea makes a great stopper because it's soothing and it takes time to sip, allowing your brain to get the message that your hunger has been satisfied and it's okay to stop eating. Peak tea is the tea I drink. It is free of pesticides and full of antioxidants, unlike many of the mass-produced teas that you buy at the grocery store. But the main reason I drink it is because it is so quick and easy for me to prepare. That quickness counts when you are trying to disrupt your desire to keep eating. To consume the tea, you tear open the packet, dump it into a cup of hot water, and stir. Instantly, you have a perfectly brewed superior quality cup of tea. Their herbal teas are caffeine-free, so you can drink them in the afternoon or after dinner to disrupt or stop your desire to eat dessert. If you'd like to try Peak Tea for yourself, you can use my link, peaklife.com forward slash Dr. Becky, to get their herbal tea bundle subscription. They guarantee you'll like it, and you can cancel any time. I'll leave a link in the video description area for you. If you feel you're at a point where avoiding sugar feels too daunting, you'll find this next keystone habit doable. Keystone habit number two is to eat a meal-sized salad each day. You can choose the meal, lunch, dinner, or breakfast if that works for you, or you eat a delayed breakfast as part of your intermittent fasting routine. Salad is the perfect vehicle for protein and healthy fats, two very hunger-satisfying ingredients. 
And on top of that, the greens and non-starchy vegetables fill your stomach with a lot of slow digesting volume. In other words, learn to build a great tasting salad and you have a secret weapon for stabilizing your blood sugar and staving off hunger. There are many great add-ons to choose from. If you'd like more ideas, I will point you to my video, 10 Best Low-Carb, High-Fat Salad Toppers. There are many benefits that get triggered by this simple daily habit that I personally experience as a result of practicing this Keystone habit. The most obvious is the many hours of hunger satisfaction it gives me. There's no better way to transform your diet than to keep hunger away. I like to eat my salad at lunch, partly for the low hunger effect throughout the afternoon, but also because it acts as a transition for me. My mornings include working out and working on my computer. At lunch, I take an enjoyable break from the physical and mental activity to make and eat my salad. Also, having one of my daily meals be a standard meal makes grocery shopping much easier because I know what I need for the week. In fact, anytime you can streamline planning, you give yourself a huge advantage. This brings us to our next keystone habit, plan for tomorrow. If you know what to do to eat healthy, but you find that life gets in the way, then adopt keystone habit number three, plan for tomorrow. All that is required for this keystone habit is to ask yourself a few questions at night. Your answers will act as a guide for your eating tomorrow. This works because it creates a sense of living with purpose instead of waking up with a let's see how today goes flip of a coin. I use this planning for tomorrow exercise in my Freedom 40 Day Diet Reset program to help members feel confident as they move through each 40 day diet cycle. I will share the nightly planning questions used in my program. You can modify them to best fit your daily diet goals. After dinner, you want to think about the next day and ask yourself questions such as, is there an event tomorrow that will be serving sugar? If yes, how will I handle it? When will I eat a meal sized salad? What will I have for my non salad meal? Which cooked vegetables will I choose? Do I have the recipe ingredients available? I find that it works best if you write down your answers so your mind stays focused on your diet and doesn't wander off thinking about other aspects of tomorrow. This is a discipline, but it only takes five minutes. Those five minutes of effort produce a calming effect and give you a feeling of confidence as you move through your day. That feeling comes from knowing what is in store and having a plan for how to deal with obstacles. So there are three keystone habits that you can adopt. Avoid added sugar, eat a daily meal sized salad, and plan for tomorrow. Which one is right for you? The answer is whichever one you can commit to. When adopted and followed, each one will create the positive ripple effect you want. And these are just three examples. There are also keystone habits that you can build around exercise intermittent fasting, sleep, and a host of healthy living practices. If you like this video and want more of those non-food keystone habits, let me know in the comments. And also comment if you found a keystone habit that transformed your diet or helped you live a healthier lifestyle. That way we can build options and ideas for others who are just getting started. I will link to my Freedom 40 Day Diet Reset program in the description and also provide a link to the tea I use, which is Peak Tea. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share and like this video before you go and have a great rest of your day.